How to knit the three color honeycomb stitch. English style. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and three balls of yarn in different colors. Special thanks to our sponsor, Imperial Yarn, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Aran line. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Knit, purl, slip stitch. To begin the stitch, you must cast on in multiples of 8 plus 4. Row 1. We're going to begin with our color A and we will knit all the stitches. Row 2. Continuing with color A, we will knit all stitches. Row three, we're going to switch from our color A to our color B. So I'm just going to thread this through my fingers like I normally would and leave a nice long tail. Make sure to have the tail coming from the tip of your finger where you're tensioning. Okay, and then we're gonna start by knitting one. I'm just gonna place this loop over the needle. Okay, then we're going to slip the next two stitches purl-wise. Then we'll start our repeat by knitting six. Okay, and we will finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches Purl-wise, so continue knitting six and slipping two until we reach the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we're just going to knit one. Row four, we're going to begin by purling one. Then we'll slip the next two stitches purl-wise. And we'll start our repeat by purling six. Okay, and we'll finish up our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purl-wise. So we continue purling six and slipping two until the last stitch in our row. And when we reach the last stitch in our row, we are going to purl one. Row five, we're gonna continue with color B and we're gonna repeat row three, uh, but we're gonna carry our row our color A up the side, so we're just gonna twist that over. That'll kind of lock it in to the side as we start knitting. So we'll begin by knitting one. Then we're gonna start our re or then we'll slip two purl-wise, then start our repeat by knitting six. And we'll finish our repeat by slipping two purl-wise. Okay, so we'll knit six and slip two until the last stitch in our row. All right, and when we reach the last stitch in our row, we will knit one. For row six, we're gonna repeat row four, so we will purl one, then slip the next two stitches purl-wise. Then we're going to start our repeat by purling six. And we'll finish our repeat by slipping two purl-wise. So we'll continue repeating the purl six and slip two until the end of the row. And when we reach the last stitch in the row, we will purl one. 
For row seven, we'll repeat row three once more. So we're going to carry the yarn up again and then continue knitting the first stitch, then slip the first two stitches purlwise, then we'll start our repeat by knitting six. And we will finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. So continue knitting six and purl and slipping two until the last stitch in our row. Okay, and we'll finish up the row by knitting one. Row eight, we're going to begin by purling one. Then we'll slip the next two stitches purlwise. And we'll start our repeat by purling six. Okay, and then we're going to finish up our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. Okay, so we'll repeat the purl six and slip two until the last stitch in our row. Okay, and we'll finish up our last stitch by purling one. Row nine, we're going to go back to our color A and we will start knitting all stitches. Row 10, we'll continue with our color A and knit all stitches. Row 11, we're going to switch to our color C. So we've got a third color here. Again, we'll add it like we did our others. And we will begin this row by knitting five. Okay, and then we're going to slip two purlwise. And we will start our repeat by knitting six. And we'll finish up by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. So we'll repeat this sequence until the last five stitches in our row. Okay, and when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we are going to knit five. Row 12, we'll begin by purling five. Okay, then we're going to slip the next two stitches purlwise. Then we'll start our repeat by purling six. Okay, and then we are going to finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. So we'll continue purling six and slipping two until we reach the last five stitches in our row. All right, when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we are going to purl five. Row 13, we're gonna continue with our color C, but we are going to carry up our other two colors along the side, so make sure that we work those into the side of our work like so. Okay, we'll begin by knitting five. We're gonna repeat row 11 here. So we'll knit five. Okay, then we'll slip the next two stitches purlwise. And we'll start our repeat by knitting six.
Okay, and then we'll finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. Okay, so we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. Okay, and when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we are going to knit five. Row 14, we're going to begin by purling five. Okay, then we'll slip the next two stitches purlwise. And we'll start our repeat by purling six. And we'll finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. Okay, so repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. When we reach the last five stitches in our row, we're going to purl five. Row 15, we are going to continue with our color C, and again, we want to carry up our other yarns along the sides. So we'll make sure that they come over our working yarn. And that way they'll get worked into the side of the fabric. So then we'll begin by knitting five. Then we'll slip the next two stitches purlwise. And we'll start our repeat by knitting six. Okay, and we'll finish up our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. So we'll repeat this sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. And when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we will knit five. Row 16, we're going to purl five to begin with. Okay, then we'll slip the next two stitches purlwise. And then we will begin our repeat by purling six. Okay, we'll finish our repeat by slipping the next two stitches purlwise. So we'll repeat the sequence until we reach the last five stitches in our row. And when we reach the last five stitches in our row, we will purl five. So repeat rows 1 through 16 until you've reached your desired length. And that's how you knit the three color honeycomb stitch. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.